welcome to Home Keepers, or I should say a very special edition of Home Keepers. And I don't have my regular cup of tea here. I have a small glass of this fruit of the spirit that uh, we have mentioned on the program many, many times. And uh, this is a special program, and I'm going to have uh, several guests wanted more room. Just kind of a new face on something. So welcome. And we're going to talk about children's health today. There's a couple things about our great nation, and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But we've got some problems. Number one, uh, Dr. John Young will be on with me shortly, uh, tells me that we are the most drugged up nation in the world. And the other real negative is that our children are not really getting the proper nutrition that they need. And that only means not problems now, but big problems down the road. And so uh, Deborah Ray is with me. I know how much the viewers love her. And Deanna Naylor is back with me. She's vice president of Fruit of the Spirit. And uh, she has a little girl, Audrey, and uh, is very much concerned about getting her on the right path of good nutrition. So uh, these ladies are already with me. But before uh, I introduce them to you, I want to tell you uh, show you a little bit more about Fruit of the Spirit, and there's a telephone number that you can write down. So take a look at this, and we'll be right back with Deborah and Deanna. Hey, that sounds like a... Are you tired? Run down? Do you lack the energy to make it through the day? Put a spring in your step and have the energy to enjoy life as never before with Fruit of the Spirit. It's an easy way to get in all those fruits and vegetables. It increases their strength, they're, they're more energetic. And it's really brought the blessing of feeling good for um, longer periods of time during the day. This is what you can trust that we'll be bringing to you the very things to preserve the health that God is so wonderfully blessing us with. And including the alkaline minerals which are so rare and hard to come by and to, to ingest in, in a tasty way. Fruit of the Spirit is the miraculous discovery of unique natural fruits and minerals blended into a refreshing drink. Now you can experience the blessing of Fruit of the Spirit for yourself. Fruit of the Spirit regularly sells for $39, but if you call the number on your screen right now, you can try Fruit of the Spirit for the limited time price of only $29. Order with your credit card, and we will also give you an additional bottle of Fruit of the Spirit absolutely free. After just two or three months, you feel better. I think it does give me a better quality of life. My patients tell me that they can sleep better since taking Fruit of the Spirit. Over the years, I've taken a lot of different things. But this, uh, for me, I think overall, it tastes good, and it does what it's supposed to do for me. What a relief for a busy mother to know that they are getting those fruits and vegetables and alkaline minerals in. What do you want to drink, honey? Live your life more abundantly. Just one ounce of Fruit of the Spirit contains the equivalent of five servings of fruits and vegetables with no sugars or preservatives. Call the number on your screen right now and try Fruit of the Spirit for the limited time price of only $29. Order with your credit card and we will also give you an additional bottle of Fruit of the Spirit absolutely free. Call now. Okay, and that's a kind of a new deal for Home Keepers viewers, and uh, that's kind of a one-time deal. You know, the first time you call, you, you pay for one, you get one free. That is really good. Now let me welcome very good friends, Deborah Ray and Deanna Naylor. Welcome back to Home Keepers, both of you. Thank nice you. to join you. Thank you. And what an important subject uh, we are talking about today. I would like to say about this Fruit of the Spirit drink that uh, ch children will drink this. It tastes that good. But... Um, let me start out with you, Deborah. Deborah is uh, a Sunday school teacher, and uh, you taught VBS this year. And last year and the year before. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. I thought, I would love to have you teach my children in Sunday school. You've got just, just the right personality for it. And yes, I know you love it. It's my blessing. My blessing. But you um, gave me some statistics, and I made some notes in case you don't remember everything that our American children are really in trouble. There's, there's no question about in crisis, it. crisis, one in six American children learning or behavioral disabled, clearly related to you know, the plastics, the foam, uh, those chemicals in the environment, 
but simply what we're feeding them. You know, we've changed the fats in our children's diet, so uh, attention deficit, uh, hyperactivity, things we never saw, uh, you know, autism. Why is it you know, that one in 11 American children are at risk of autism? If you live in New Jersey, one in nine children is now autistic. I talked to medical doctors who said, you know, it wasn't that long I was in medical school and it was one in 100,000. You know, what happened to our environment and how we feed our children that so dramatically has challenged their health? They haven't come up with anything exactly on autism, but it has to be something environmental. A myriad Doesn't of it? factors, a myriad of factors. We now point to pesticides. We point to um, some of the adjuncts in, in vaccinations like the aluminum and the mercury. There's probably no one single cause. It's this little insults along the way and you combine that with the fact that our children are more overweight and obese because they eat a lot of empty calories and they don't have that foundation you know that scripture tells mm -hmm. us is so important not only for our faith but for our physical body because we're not feeding them from God's garden anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm one that doesn't argue with scripture I think that it is absolute truth. Uh, what about teens and diabetes? Fastest growing group of type 2 diabetics. Now, type 2 and a, and a type teenager? Type 2. Now, it wasn't that long ago when I was in school, there was no type 2 diabetics. It was adult onset. You didn't get it until your 40s, 50s, and right. 60s. Now, the fastest growing group of type 2 diabetics, which is clearly related to lifestyle, is teenagers in this country. We have teenagers that have that central obesity, now diagnosed with maybe some high blood pressure by age 15. Uh, of course, the early puberty goes along with this, um, but all of this relates to the fact that they have chronic diseases that we once saw in people in their 40s and 50s in their teens now. That's tragic. Well, uh, juvenile onset used to be considered even up to the age of 30. Right, no longer. And so now type two, and it's, right. it's epidemic proportion in, in teenagers. Right. Let me tell you something. I had a child with diabetes from the age of 12. It's a horrible disease. It's a horrible disease. And I have the greatest admiration for my son for the way he's, he's had to deal with it. But I certainly hope that your child wouldn't have to deal with it. And I don't know what caused it or any of that, but it's something that you want to stay away from. One more thing before we get to um, Deanna. What about asthma? Asthma is That's way up in uh, percentages also. epidemic in this country because allergies, asthma, autism, attention, defic attention deficit <laughs> seem to go hand in hand. In fact, a very good friend of mine who's a, a pediatrician who uses nutrition in his practice, Dr. Ken Bach, wrote the uh, Healing the Four A's because they all go along with the fact that our children are challenged and it comes back to that bedrock of nutrition. They don't get it and it's forever changing not only their genes, but now, you know, we go on family vacations and see both parents are overweight, both children are now overweight, and that is sentencing themselves to a legacy that their genes are forever changed, not only individually, wow. but their children, and their children's children are now have this obesity legacy, which leads to oh, more horrible. heart disease, more diabetes, more cancer, that's a, that's a terrible chain, terrible burden for our children to bear when it goes back to simple nutrition. Yeah, and I want to uh, introduce again to you Deanna Naylor, who is the Vice President for Fruit of the Spirit, but more importantly, she's a mom. She has a little girl, and she reads to her every night. That is another very healthy thing to do. You are going to put your child on such a better educational path if you will read to them. You told me that uh, when I first met you, you read two or three books a night. Well, she reads a couple and then I read a couple to her, so we take turns. Well, how old is she? She will be five in a couple of weeks. And she is actually reading? She is. She is. Yeah, and as we were talking about, and as Deborah mentioned, leaving a legacy for our kids is so important to us. They're, they're, you know, we there are children. And so reading to her is one thing, but leaving a legacy of her wanting to take care of herself is another and encouraging her to eat fruits and vegetables and us sit down at the table at night and eat together to make sure that that is instilled in her because as we said, the world pulls at us 
um, away from what we should be doing to take care of ourselves. To McDonald's drive yes, through. That's straight what to. Pulls you. Yeah, and it's yeah. so convenient. It, they're on every corner. And so as a mom, I work um, mm -hmm. and it's a busy schedule. The easy, convenient thing for me to do would be to pull into that McDonald's. But when I look at the long term effects of what I'm doing to not only myself, to, but to my little girl, right. especially when you get into the genetic the trails that That's that That's the leads. first time I've heard of that. That is absolutely scary that we are actually, with the slothfulness right. of our life, right. changing right. your genetic makeup. Right. Right. You know, we see the That's positive from Isaiah. He made our heart anew. I mean, this is, is almost, you know, the, the, the flip side. You know, uh -huh. the, the devil of, you know, how getting away from how God provided absolutely. for us can forever change how our genes express themselves. Whoa. Um, Deanna, now, there's a lot of, so many American moms work, probably there most are. of them. Yes. So how, how do you do this? Because I'm convinced that if people would order their lives, order their steps, uh, get organized, that there can be a plan set in place where that family will eat together at night. That means you turn off the TV. That means no arguing at the table. You can fight when you leave, but not around here. Uh, that it is kind of a holy sacred place. So do you plan your meals for a week and shop maybe once basically? I, I do, I do. And uh, we have, I'm pretty diligent about not keeping things that I don't want her to eat in the house. Because if I don't want her to eat it, I really shouldn't eat it. Mm -hmm. And so I really try to keep that out of the house. So what do you keep out? <laughs> <laughs> the cookies, the... It, Cokes, mm -hmm. the things that mm -hmm. on a daily basis I really don't want her to be, to be. Yeah, and if they're not there, she can't. Right, eat them. exactly. But it is still hard. There's some days where she has something or I have something at night, and so I do look for convenient ways to make sure that she is getting mm -hmm. her daily vitamin, fruit of the spirit in the morning, so mm -hmm. that I know that she's getting those five servings of fruits and vegetables. So I'm definitely not perfect. Um, and there are days where she's getting things that I may not necessarily mm -hmm. approve of mm -hmm. because culture around her. Um, yeah, it's it is tough, but it, it's certainly but it's doable. Can be done. It is, and it just has to be a priority in your home. And mothers don't let them intimidate you. you this is this is really <laughs> your domain. So. Yes. Um, but let me mention one thing about fruit of the spirit. Some of you people have already seen this, but I th I think it's. Uh, I think it's enlightening and informative and educational to know how the product's made. And uh, these ingredients come from the land of the Bible. They come from that Mediterranean area and they are harvested at the very peak of their uh, growing season. And um, so after that happens, this is what happens. Deanne and I were out California one day to watch Fruit of the Spirit being made. So I thought this would interest you. If you haven't seen it, take a look. What an adventure was waiting for me when I traveled to Aseptic Solutions in Corona, California, where I watched the split-second process used to create Fruit of the Spirit. I was joined by Deanna Naylor. She's the Vice President and Marketing Director for the company. Before entering the facility, we were given unflattering hats to wear in order to keep the area pristine and free from contamination. We felt rather small gazing at giant drums holding thousands of gallons of the ingredients that make up Fruit of the Spirit. This product is actually flash frozen in only three, that's right, I said three seconds. This fact cannot be overemphasized because that three second process guarantees the full strength of the antioxidants and minerals contained in the powerful ingredients that make up Fruit of the Spirit. Thousands of bottles were quickly filled, labeled, and prepared for shipment. I personally checked one bottle as it rolled past, and I can verify that it was extremely cold to the touch. In just a matter of minutes, the product was boxed and on its way to the thousands who now benefit from the energizing ingredients contained therein. So we left thankful, thankful for one more great learning experience and confident that just as we thought, fruit of the spirit is excellent in every way. It's superior, the very best of the very best. Uh, Dr. Young, John Young has joined us from Foundational Health Center in Largo, Florida, and he is an MD, but he offers Fruit of the Spirit to his patients, and um, I've always been curious, Dr. Young, thank you for coming back. Glad to be here. Um, 
when you go to med school and all, you're not introduced this much to this kind of thing. And I have talked to one other doctor for certain who kind of made, I call it transition into both worlds maybe. And, and he, he used to be, was it on the mission field in, in South Africa? On the mission, South Africa and Swaziland. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> that the witch doctor was having more uh, success than he was, which is uh, really discouraging. But uh, I don't know if it was in that period of time, but as with all your medical training, which you still hold and I'm sure appreciate, what was there a moment that said, maybe I'll look at this side, at this nutrition and... I, I think that the moment was the aha moment. Yeah, that one. Was <clears throat> when I saw the witch doctor uh, treat a patient that I'd been treating for hypertension, and I put the patient on all the medications, and I found out from the patient later that he didn't want to be on medications. He wanted to get rid of his hypertension, so he went to the witch doctor, and the witch doctor gave him some potion to drink, and he had never, didn't have any problems since. So that was the moment when I realized maybe I was Probably just... something out of the ground, right? <laughs> right. But I was just treating symptoms versus getting to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. And the witch doctor beat me on that <laughs> with all my expensive <laughs> medical education, so I was kind of bummed out. <laughs> and I happen to know that uh, at your uh, foundation, foundational health center that uh, you, you put your patients on just a really good regimen of things to restore their bodies and their blood cells and all. Do a lot of your patients come in, they want a pill? No, most of my patients come in because they want off the pills. They're seeing the other doctors, they're on 10, 15, 20 different medications. There's interactions. 20, really? I've had, I've had I think the record of Deborah and I was 23, 20. 29? 29. 29. And there's a lot of interactions with those medications. So, so they want to get off of it. Now listen, the, the nice thing about American medicine is this. It is great for the acute problem. If right. you have an infected foot, a heart attack, you want to be in the medical system of America, get acute, quick treatment. For the chronic diseases, diabetes, emphysema, congestive heart failure, you want to get to the root of the problem, and the American medical system is not built for that. And what I have done is I've tried to get to the root of the problem, and that's where I've become very successful in treating these chronic diseases, getting 80% of my patients off all their medications within about eight weeks. Yeah, now, my, my question is that we are such a, a now drive-through instant type of culture. Um, are they willing to go along with you for eight weeks? Most of them want to go right to the drugstore and no, take no, care of it. No, they're very willing because one thing is I will usually get them feeling better within a week or two. Mm -hmm. And once you start to cut a medication they're on, and especially if it's an expensive one and they're saving money, they're like, oh, hold me back. I mean, you can't stop them. They want, they're hooked for, for life. And so I kind of hold their hand for the first week or so, and then... That is a own. great point, because some of those medications are just obscene <laughs> in, right. in what it costs to get them. So they kind of know when they're coming to you. Um, well, they know that they know I'm going to try to get different. to the root of the problem and not just treat a symptom. And American medicine is basically built on symptomatic treatment. And I'm saying, let's go what, do what the old guys at Harvard, Yale, John Hopkins, Duke, what did they do years ago? They laid a foundation. And that's how I treat my so patients. So that's the name of your? Foundational medicine. And it just so happens that Makes I use sense. a lot of fruit of the spirit to help lay that foundation. Yeah, um, what is the greatest lack in the American diet? I've, I've, heard, I've heard you talk about minerals a lot. Minerals because our food supply, it looks great, but it tastes like cardboard a lot. You of are so right. Fruit, and that means we're lacking the minerals in them. You need the minerals just for the taste. I need minerals to do thousands of bodily functions or enzymatic processes in the body every second. Without those minerals, you aren't going to really get optimized health. Chronic fatigue we're seeing, type 2 diabetes, congestive heart failure at younger and younger ages, all kinds of problems, asthma we're seeing. And minerals are extremely important. 
and we're, yet we're taking a lot of drugs that deplete the body of these minerals. Mm -hmm. So I've got to replace them. And that's what I'm really trying to do with a lot of my patients is replace the minerals they're losing from their drugs. I, I just had this great big light bulb go on in my head because I love fruits and vegetables and they do not taste like they did when I was a kid. They do not. No, and it's, here in America we've gone for the idea we want our things to look good. Yeah. Our women to look good, our fruits and vegetables to look good. <laughs> Versus fruits and vegetables will make you look good, women. So. <laughs> versus in, in Africa, when I lived in South Africa or in Europe, the vegetables may not be that pretty, but boy, do they taste good. Man, they taste like a tomato should or a pear. I mean, there's flavor there. I just had another light bulb. I have a friend, Don McAllister, has a farm in North Carolina, and he grows stuff. My daughter visited there recently, and she brought me some squash, from, and it really does kind of look bad. It doesn't look good. And, and then I buy this squash at the store, your summer squash, yellow squash, and it's slick and it's, it's polished, <laughs> but it doesn't taste good. You made quite a point there, really. And that's what it is. <clears throat> We're, we've gone for looks and given up on taste and nutritional content, and we're paying the price for it. Uh, now, you and Deborah would be very much similar in this situation that you, that you both have careers, you have a lot of credibility, and I'm sure that a lot of products come to you that, that the makers, the formulators would like for you to put your stamp of approval on. Um, Deborah told me she was not prepared to be impressed by this and was pleasantly. What about... Uh, what made you sign, in, sign on to Fruit of the Spirit? You know, there's a lot of products and network marketing products out there, and I wasn't really interested in the network marketing. The main thing I liked about Fruit of the Spirit is this. It had alkaline minerals. I need as many alkaline minerals in a person's diet as I can get. It affects the oxygenation, it affects cell function, system function. And this is what it had that the others were lacking. And that's what really got me going. And then I use it to make some of my products that my patients use. And you know, when they come back saying, John, I'm taking this fruit of the spirit and it's making a big difference, it's just encouraging to me. Mm -hmm. But it was alkaline minerals that set this above any other fruit drink out there. So Deborah, is it true that a lot of these do not have that? They don't have the minerals? If they do, they're added in a very, very small amount, maybe added in an oxide form that's very difficult to, uh, to absorb when you get it from fruits and vegetables. That's where you know, nature, God put those minerals. Magnesium alone drives 300 of the body's chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. You get it from fruits and vegetables, and not many of us are getting that optimal mm -hmm. nine to 11 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. No, most people do not. Most we're we're do. down to about almost one minute, but you have three boys. Uh, is it hard to keep them on track nutritionally? Yes. It's I, hard. The culture is really works against you, doesn't it? It's That's hard. what Deanna well, said. And they're seeing at their neighbors and they're getting all kinds of junk food. So it's hard to get the protein in and it's hard to get fruits and vegetables. So that's where Fruit of the Spirit works very nicely. Mm -hmm. And the three year old, it's I got to keep him away from it. I mean, he'd drink the whole bottle of the day <laughs> and then we've got problems. So. But uh, the kids like it and, and that's very, very helpful for us nutritionally wise in dealing with our children. Yeah, I just want to ask uh, Deanna one more thing. Uh, this girl is on such a mission and you are trying to develop something that will interest parents in getting children on this, right? Yes, we are and we're encouraging, we're starting a campaign where it's educating parents and children on healthcare God's way mm -hmm. of really getting fruits and vegetables and getting a diet that's rich in God's garden, as Deborah mentioned. That is, so. that is a good, good cause. And uh, we are concerned about your children and grandchildren. I know um, that you are as well, but it's, it's going to start with you. It's gonna start with the, probably with the mom, uh, just creating some boundaries and a lot of education and get these children on the right track because Believe it or not, this is going to make a big, huge difference in what America is 20, 25 years from now uh, when other nations can pass us up when it comes to health. There's nothing really more important. Your soul salvation is number one, but other than that, your health 
and God's Word even teaches you how to do that and how to be healthy. Uh, take a look one more time and uh, write this telephone number down, okay? Are you tired? Run down? Do you lack the energy to make it through the day? Put a spring in your step and have the energy to enjoy life as never before with Fruit of the Spirit. It's an easy way to get in all those fruits and vegetables. It increases their strength, they're, they're more energetic. And it's really brought the blessing of feeling good for um, longer periods of time during the day. This is what you can trust that we'll be bringing to you the very things to preserve the health that God is so wonderfully blessing us with. And including the alkaline minerals, which are so rare and hard to come by and to, to ingest in, in a tasty way. Fruit of the Spirit is the miraculous discovery of unique natural fruits and minerals blended into a refreshing drink. Now you can experience the blessing of Fruit of the Spirit for yourself. Fruit of the Spirit regularly sells for $39, but if you call the number on your screen right now, you can try Fruit of the Spirit for the limited time price of only $29. Order with your credit card, and we will also give you an additional bottle of Fruit of the Spirit absolutely free. After just two or three months, you feel better. I think it does give me a better quality of life. My patients tell me that they can sleep better since taking Fruit of the Spirit. Over the years, I've taken a lot of different things. But this, uh, for me, I think overall, it tastes good, and it does what it's supposed to do for me. What a relief for a busy mother to know that they are getting those fruits and vegetables and alkaline minerals in. What do you want to drink, honey? Live your life more abundantly. Just one ounce of Fruit of the Spirit contains the equivalent of five servings of fruits and vegetables with no sugars or preservatives. Call the number on your screen right now and try Fruit of the Spirit for the limited time price of only $29. Order with your credit card and we will also give you an additional bottle of Fruit of the Spirit absolutely free. Call now. I hope that this program has been really informative for you and also that you made note of that telephone number. You know, Thomas Edison, America's premier inventor, he was born in 1847 and died in 1931. He made a statement that has a prophetic ring today. He said, the doctor of the future will give no medicine, but will interest his patient in the care of the human frame, in diet, and in the cause and prevention of disease. May our grandchildren live to see that day. Thanks for being with us, and please remember, there's absolutely no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. Are you looking for a common sense approach to better health? I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is my wife, Cindy. Watch Your Health Weekdays here on CTN Christian Television Network. Your Health features daily health news, holistic health experts, insight into dietary supplements, and on-air answers to your health calls. And join me in the kitchen as we make healthy foods to restore your health and vitality. That's weekdays at 2 p.m. Eastern right here on CTN. I was in a bad car accident, and the doctors told me I would never stand again. Somehow, I knew I would. Progress has been slow, but family, friends, and strangers all started to pray for me. Whether you need support in a tragedy or just to make it through a bad day, prayer can make a difference. America, let's come together by believing with each other. For someone to come alongside you and say, I'm going to believe with you, it means a lot. In our nutrition tip, we talked about some stuff that was really cool. <laughs> oh, burning. Ooh. Burning. Because it's a heart, we can like run and like on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> or, or not. Oh, my thighs got too heavy when I hit the mat. <laughs> so get plenty of salmon. <laughs> oh, can we start again? My mic just fell down my pants. <laughs> God's love, elevating, energizing.